What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Croftosaurus and welcome back to another gameplay episode of Subnautica. So, the last time we were on here, we were exploring the Aurora to see you know, what secrets we could find beyond this, uh, well, beyond well, what lies within the wrecked ship itself. And, we actually tried to get off the planet via you know, rescue ship, but unfortunately, Apparently, the alien structure we found actually shot the ship right out of the sky and blew it to some rains. In case you haven't seen my last episode, that I'll leave it, leave it at the end of the video for you guys to check out. So, oh, and sorry about the spoiler alert. <laughs> but, but however, though, the, today's plan for this video is that I'm going to try to continue to explore the Aurora just a little more and try to get my hands on another piece of equipment if I could try to find it which is ha which is this now I kind of actually mm, did some more research about uh, that diamond material and it turns out uh, one of those places is only to get it was from the island we'd been to earlier and who knows we could probably try and investigate that facility that we actually went into earlier and so yeah right now that's gonna be the plan and we'll see how it goes hmm yeah, which am I even having cave so far hmm okay nothing in here uh, hmm you know what let me see if I could just try to check out the caves for the uh, sulfur and see if I see if I am Really a luck just to find some. Hmm. Well, even though I haven't exactly found any in here. Let's see. Uh. Whoa. Wow. Looks like this little device of mine is actually going a little bit out of whack. So. Hmm. You no, know, I wonder. Aha! Okay, so... Yeah, I... Yeah, I figured this would be a better way in order to get my hands on some of the fish rather than trying to... Oops! And I think I just killed an innocent fish. Hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, rather than just chasing... Then I... Could really try to use this little device in order to. Oh, what's this? Hmm. I guess I could probably scan this acid mushroom. In the core shell place. Huh, nice. Ooh, we're in the kelp forest. <laughs> you know, this guy actually. Why reminds me of the SpongeBob like when Square goes up. Oh, oh no! <laughs> We're going out of here! <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Yep, because it doesn't like SpongeBob. <laughs> 30 seconds. Whoa! Yep. <laughs> and not to other mention that the career behind SpongeBob Sally passed away a little while ago. <sighs> he really will be missed. Oh! Hmm, no, I don't think I've ever been in this area before. Hmm, let's see what I can find in here. Like, oh, what's this? Hmm. Wow! That's, uh... That's actually a really deep hole! Hmm. Oh, can I actually scan these? No? Hmm. Let's see what happens when I just self-scan. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Hmm. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Oh my. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I can probably tell that it's definitely not a good sign. Oh. Is there other stuff I could scan? Wow. Ooh. Jelly shroom. Hmm. 
Well, whatever this place is, man, I must have really found something really cool. Hmm. Thirty seconds. Uh oh. Yeah, I may have to use the rotation device. Okay. Come on. Man. No, I gotta admit, this is kinda getting a little bit annoying. Hmm. In fact, since that is quite such a really deep hole, I don't even know how how in the blazes am I supposed to get down there. Hmm. Oop. Whoops. Wait, wait, that was it was this Oh my goodness. Hmm. Oh, here, yeah, what is that? Is that a sea moth fragment? Whoa! Whoops! Ah, wrong item! Yeah, come near me and I'll slice you up to bits! It doesn't look like that to me, so I think it's. Yep! Yeah, yep, I think I was gonna get a titanium. Hmm. Unless... Wait, let me see if I can have a look around. Here, see if I can find some. Unless I could try to build myself a little seed base around this area, or maybe I could try to find something a little better. Hmm. I mean, like, there's gotta be at least some you know, caves with the uh, cave sulfur around somewhere, which hopefully I could somehow find it hmm where's the life pot in wait <gasps> hello where's the life pot oh oh wait there it is <laughs> hmm wait a minute no unless if i could actually try to go to that a life pod. And uh, maybe there's a way I could actually you know, see what other further technologies I could actually discover. After all, <laughs> after all, the sea moth could actually go about 300 years down, so. Wait, unless I've actually been to that location before, haven't I? Hmm, yeah, again, that's actually where the island is. So, wait, unless if, hmm, I think there are two strange floating islands, or, I'm not sure. Okay, so, yeah, let's see if we can try to check out, uh, uh the, uh, life pod itself and see, see what we can actually try to do. Hmm, oh boy. And it looks like the sea moth is actually nearly halfway to its uh, power depletion, so <laughs> I really need to keep an eye out on that. Hmm. Wow. More like, wow, because I found more grass fields or something. Wow. Huh, okay. Um, I think I've never even been in this area before, but I might have to remain cautious, just to be sure. Oh boy, and I can tell it's getting a little dark. Hmm, okay, I found another deep cave entrance, which... Wow. That is pretty deep. Hmm. Are we... Oh boy. Oh man, I hope there's nothing too scary in here which you know, that'll make me jump, so... Hmm. Wow. Looks like we're... Here. Oh! Wait, did you guys see... That? Hmm. Passing 100 meters. 
Oxygen efficiency decreased. Well, wow. here we go. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Hmm, is there like anything? Oh, hello. Integrating new PDA data. Huh. Signal okay. Location uploaded to PDA. Anything else? No? Well, I guess it's back to the sub. <laughs> Okay, so apparently we didn't find any data boxes, but we kind of found two PDAs, but sadly though, there are no, no signs of life. Uh, oh. but, hello, looks like I spy something with my little eye. Hmm, aw, oh, full inventory, boohoo. Uh, I whoa! What the heck? Hmm. I think I must have accidentally bumped into. Whoa! What in the? Hey, what do we got here? Hmm. Yeah, I can tell I probably need the laser cutter for this one, which is kind of a little bit ironic. Okay, so we should probably head head to the uh, mysterious island just to see see uh, what else we could actually you know, find. If I actually could tell of where I'm going, of course. Hmm. Let's see, up go. <laughs> hmm. If I have to guess. I think that island could be right over that way. Well, think of it, since it's just a cloud flowing on the surface of the water, and it happens to be sitting in one spot for some reason, so... Yep, so that means the island's gotta be right over there. <laughs> but you know, I never suspected I would see such a facility transform itself just from a regular building to a... to a freaking living breathing weapon I mean like think of it it's it's like not it it's not like every day you get to see a building transform itself into a giant laser cannon that could be able to destroy only ships within one shot but at least uh, we did find out why the Aurora crashed even though according to most Intel is that the unknown cause of it but hey at least that's one part of the mystery solved. Hmm. Now, if, if we're ever gonna get get to be rescued, or maybe somehow find a way to get off this bird, or this planet, <laughs> I don't know why I say bird, but yeah, find a way to get off this planet, and then we could finally get to go home. Well, where is we? We went to. Hmm. Ah. I think I saw something. Another one. Wow. Okay. Wow, this one happens to be nearby the surface. Whoa! Huh. Yeah, and I saw you, stupid thing. You're not getting in here, or. What? Wait. What is that? Is that a. Holy cow, is an entrance! Hmm! Wait. Okay, I don't know why that thing's got metal, but... Huh. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that thing lurking around, so... Okay. Here we go. Whoa! Of course it swims nearby the sub. Another PDA? Hmm. Integrate new PDA data. A bench? Like, why the heck do I... Hmm... Okay, ain't... Well, cause I ain't going out, out that way, so... Hmm... Ah, nice try, nice try, you can't get to me! Wait. Whoa! What in the... Specimen with systems of. Oh my god, this thing's got. 
Wow. So I guess because it wasn't just those previous specimens we actually ran into earlier. Hmm. And still no other fragments of any. I'm gonna keep going in more to really check it out. Hmm. Jeez, <sighs> there's actually gonna be more to this mystery than I than we could possibly ever thought of. Hmm. And oh, I, I think we might have just made it. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I think that facility must have been somewhere north of this island, like, like right there. Hmm. You know what? Maybe as soon as I get off the sea moth, I better try to repair this thing just to be sure. Hmm. Wow. Man. Huh. Looks like this silly could actually go way deep underground. Or, should I say, underwater? <laughs> Man. This is silly. It's actually a lot more. Bigger than I thought. Jeez. Whoa. Okay, it looks like the game just got buggy all of a sudden. Hmm. Now where? Wow. Man. This place is actually a lot more bigger than I. Hmm? Wait. Where was that? Hmm. Okay. I guess I must be seeing things. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so. And this facility is actually a lot more bigger than I thought. So. Might as well head to the surface. Okay. Oh, and I may have to repair this sucker. There we go. Alright, so. Hmm. I don't know, should I go looking for diamonds or continue look at this weird armed facility? <laughs> hmm. You know what? I guess I'll probably try to look for the uh, two diamonds really quick. I, I mean, like, after all, they're just... Hmm. No, yeah, again, two does sound like a very extremely rare thing in order to find, so... <laughs> And I can tell, oh, this area of the island seems to be a little buggy, so. Hmm. I wonder if we could actually could go up this way. Hmm. Man. And I'm not too sure. Whoa! Holy. Ah, man. It's a little more. Or those uh, cave dwelling creatures, or whatever you call them. And I forgot I needed to. I'm. Empty my shoot. Okay, apparently I got a little too carried away with the repulsion cannon, so. What? Let me just re release some fish. Okay. Let's see, so. I think I'll get rid of the two boomerang fish. <laughs> and I got. What? Yeah, I think I'll. Get rid of that and but, yeah, might as well scan this thing. <laughs> if you like more information I collect, the better I get to know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, looks like I got enough room just for two diamonds and a cave sulfur. So Ooh. Okay. I don't know. Hey. Shoo! Shoo! Bye bye. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. Hello. Seek fluid intake. Uh oh. 
Vital signs stabilizing. Whew. Right. I gotta remember just to keep an eye on my health and something. Hmm. Hmm. No, I guess I could probably use the uh, sea glide as a light source just in case. Hmm. Let's see. So. Okay, I promise you guys, I really did do my research in. And there should be some dark shale, I believe, that I need in order to mine these things. Hmm. Hello. Oh my god, that is a long way down. In fact, I'm not too sure I could be able to make it surface within that jump. Yeah, so looks like we're going to have to find a the other way around. Hmm. Oh, okay, there's another way up. Hmm. Let's see, uh Oh jeez. Those little buggers. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, looks like I see something. Shale out cord. <gasps> Diamond! Another purple tablet. Okay. Whoa! Three million credits? Man! By the way, what do I have to do? Ooh. Whoa! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Aha! I gotcha! Alright. Man, that guy's actually went a little. Hmm. Let's see. Pink cap and the speckled rattler? Hmm. Well, as much as I really want to try to take those back to the life pod, I feel like that we really need to, uh, really find a better way to survive. And we need one more diamond before we <gasps> get out of here. Ooh! Hmm. Okay, might as well. <laughs> Ooh, and gold. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Do I already have lithium or... Ooh, yikes. Apparently, you got quite a little more than I asked for, so... I guess I... Whoa. What is this? <gasps> Whoa. There. Yeah, come near me and... Ah! Let's near me! <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Give me a little rut. Oh. Huh? Insert iron cube. Okay, I have no idea where to get those, but... Hmm. Alien arc. Or arch. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. You know, if I have to guess, I'm guessing this could be like a portal to it to well who knows where but however in the meantime I guess we won't be going through there anytime soon nope that's lithium but I'll take it and diamond number two all right nice well whatever the purpose that portal is we may have to figure it out later soon enough Hmm, and it kind of looks like it requires some kind of an iron cube. Hmm. Wait, is that another dark shale or, or shale cord? Yeah, we should probably think about finding a way to get out of here, so. I guess we're just going to have to... 
Nope, this is the same tunnel as we went through before. <sighs> wow, okay. Apparently, there's like a whole maze of tunnels that I gotta go through and... I. Okay, here's the way out. Oh man, thank god it is still daytime though. <gasps> oh! Ouch. Yep, definitely going to have to use up one of my first aid kits. Ah, much better. Hmm, and I am getting a little thirsty, so there we go. <laughs> hmm, can I just get those creatures up? Sky Ray. Hmm, okay, guess I can't scan them until I somehow get closer. Hmm. <laughs> No, I'm so really curious to see what further lies into this uh, facility. I mean, like, all I did was extract some alien database, which... I don't know if that's really going to help with anything, but... Hmm... But, after all, I am getting a little hungry, so I better head back to the uh, life pod, just in case. Welcome aboard, Captain. And find, find another... Power source I could use in order to you know, get back to, or find a, another power source in order to keep up this uh, sea moth. And who knows? Maybe I could try to build myself a neat little habitat, as most people call it in, in this game. Hmm. I'm not too sure what kind of designs of habitat should I make. Try and make like a multi-floored. Habitat, or maybe just a small one, even though I'm the only survivor on this planet. Or, hopefully, there will be more survivors, which I'll run into. And I could probably tell that sound I'm hearing doesn't seem to be looking too good. So, I might as well have to be careful about that. Huh. Strange. Hmm, do you know what I just happened to realize back on the island? There's a little beacon pointing at the... ...from the real point? Hmm, funny. No, that wasn't exactly there when I actually arrived to the island. Or... Wait, unless there's a... Wait, okay, either I'm going crazy or... <laughs> or is that... Oh, there's another island over there. <laughs> but, who knows? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, I better hurry and hit a little something pronto. Uh, okay, there we go. Hmm, I think I'll just hold on to the. Yeah, might as well use a bladder fish for water just in case. Oh my god, I am so incredibly thirsty. Or, no wait, hungry. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, hungry. Vital signs stabilizing. Ah, much better. Whew, wow, okay. Well, apparently that was some quite an adventure, and unfortunately, you know, we haven't exactly found any cave sulfur, so I, hmm, well, whatever that cave sulfur could be, so, huh. No, I feel like I really need to get myself, like, a flashlight, or, hmm, you know what? Yeah, might as well, and... And hopefully put away some of the items. Uh, let's see, personnel, no, no equipment, tools. Um, oh, shoot. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Make me some glass and plus one battery equals flashlight! There we go. Ah, okay. It's a shame we didn't. Exactly get our own laser cut yet, but hopefully within the next episode we shall find some cave sulfur 
just be sure so we're gonna be wrapping up the video so thank you so much for watching today's video ladies and gentlemen if you want to see me explore or more under the water then be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this and follow me on Facebook and Twitter and hit the little bell to get notified about my newest and latest videos and I'll be seeing all you lovely people in the next episode of Subnautica. Peace out!